you to be able to reassure your boyfriend or your girlfriend when it comes to an open relationship, you must set the tone for the relationship as this. You must set the tone of the relationship as an open communication relationship rather than a closed communication relationship. And you have to lead the conversation to make those distinctions. And let me explain what I mean. You must communicate and set the tone for the relationship that the relationship is not a don't ask, don't tell relationship, but rather an open communication relationship. Now, you and I know that anyone pretty much can be in an open relationship if they just say, hey, let's be in an open relationship. Okay. But I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you the 100% complete straight truth, even if it's not something you want to hear. An open relationship requires a tremendous amount of this skill set. And the skill set is communication skills. And most people, most average people, don't have these skill sets, don't have the ability to communicate openly, transparently, and don't have the ability to set that tone in the relationship. And this is why, and I can help you with that. This is why I created the group Quantum Enlightened Advantage. So you can join that group and enhance yourself in the terms of relationships, knowledge, and communication skill sets so that you can have the amazing relationships, the harmonious and happy relationships that you want and you crave. Because if you don't have these communication skill sets, it's tremendously difficult to have an open relationship where it's happy and it's harmonious and it's sexy, it's wonderful, it's adventurous, it's fun, and it's beneficial for both parties. So I'm going to begin with the premise that you appreciate and understand that. So with that in mind, how do you reassure your boyfriend or your girlfriend about your being in an open relationship? How do you reassure them? Number one, set the tone of the relationship as an open relationship, not a don't ask, don't tell relationship. So what you're doing with that communication, I'll give you an example of how that sounds like. I'll give you a demonstration. What you're doing with that sort of communication is you're making a dis distinction in their minds about two separate bits. Two separate abstractions. Words create abstractions. So with words, when you create definitions, when you define words, you create abstractions. Abstraction is when you, when you take a nebulous thing that is a concept and you distill it down to become more and more concise and more descriptive and a thing rather than a nebulous thing. So nebulous is this airy-fairy thing, and then when you create abstractions, you compact it into this one thing that both of you can understand. So once you make the distinction in their minds, they now have a separation between a non-open communication and an open communication. Here's what that sounds like. Hey, baby, I want to communicate to you that open relationship that we have that's wonderful and happy and harmonious in order for it to be happy and wonderful and harmonious it has to be understood that the open part of open relationships doesn't mean open legs or open zipper meaning it's not just us fucking around the open part means open communication you and i's ability to be able to communicate openly transparently and candidly with each other and that's the most important bit. Let me move this camera for a little bit. All right, that's much better. And that's the most important bit, our being completely open, transparent with each other and being able to communicate non-judgmentally, confidently and comfortably with each other. Now this distinction will be able to help them and allow them to communicate their feelings with you without their fearing the repercussions of being judged. Now, non-judgmental acceptance is an incredibly important thing which is beyond the scope of this video. 
but you have to find a way and uh, perhaps in the future I'll talk about how to do this but you have to ensure in your communication that they when they communicate to you that they don't feel judged that they are accepted that they can communicate absolutely anything with you so that's the first distinction you want to make words create abstractions and you must di distinct uh, distinguish between a non-open communication which is for example a don't ask don't tell relationship and an open communication relationship now one of the examples one of the um, most complicated and controversial and difficult thing to maneuver are threesomes so in this in this context of reassuring your your boyfriend or girlfriend with your open relationship let me give you this example <clears throat> Suppose the scenario is you and your girlfriend or you and your partner or you're your boyfriend, you and your partner meet somebody yummy and you both like them and you like to play with them simultaneously together. And so the most important thing and the skill set again that you have to have is communication skills. You have to be able to communicate to both persons first of all you have to communicate with your beloved with your partner that hey baby we're going to have this this uh we're gonna have fun with this person and i know that you and i both appreciate and want this interaction and interface with this person in this way now i'd like you to know that you are my beloved and i love you tremendously and wonderfully and you are the most important thing to me your having fun is the most important thing in this interaction you're having fun and you're being secure about our relationship and you're appreciating that I love you tremendously and we're just going to have fun you are my most most thought thought of first thought of, first considered during this entire interaction. Do you have any problems with this? And then you reassure them by answering their questions, presuming you, they feel that they can communicate with you openly, transparently. And then you have to communicate with the person, the play partner in the threesome. And you must communicate with them, I'm really delighted to have you. We are really delighted to have you and we are really happy and looking forward and delighted to have some fun with, with your being with us. And I'd like you to know that you can openly, transparently, candidly communicate with us anything you'd like, how you feel. And if there's anything you want to stop at any time, please let, us, let me know. Please let us know. And I just want you to know that my beloved and I, my partner, really adore you. You're, we think you're absolutely yummy. And I just want you to know that during the entire time we're having this interaction, my beloved, my partner is going to be, I'm going to pay more attention to her than to you. But it doesn't mean that you're less important. I just want you to know that my partner is first thought of, first considered, and first attended. So I'm going to step back for a little bit and have you and her, or in your case, him, have fun for a little bit. Do you have any questions? Do you have any problems? Do you have any concerns you'd like to address? This is critical communication when it comes to threesomes. Boundaries are incredibly important. And when boundaries are crossed, you have to stop and reassure all parties involved and remind them of the boundaries. So, what did you learn from this video? In order for you to reassure your boyfriend or girlfriend, in an open relationship, you must acquire the skill of open communication or communication skill sets and be able to make a distinction in their minds by your wording it out, creating abstractions, that this is not a closed communication relationship. This is an open communication relationship. And you, my beloved, are able to communicate absolutely anything you'd like without judgment, repercussion, and you can communicate your feelings, what you think about this. And if you ever feel as if you're less important than anybody whom we interact, 
whether or not we interact with them together or not, please address them. I want you to feel the most first considered, first thought of every single time. What do you think? Leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this. Click the like button, click the share button, and uh, share this with, your, uh, with people. And follow my uh, channel, click subscribe, and I will talk to you on the next video. Bye-bye.